It puts a lot of people off. I mm. mean, at the end of the day, whether faith people want to have this, fine. But at mm. the same time, like, big man, this is not a way for you to be come. It's not a come up. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> not, <laughs> this is not a way yeah. for you to be coming like rich. Like, this yeah. is, yeah, yeah, yeah like, yeah, fair yeah. enough, you have a big church, but like, you even know all your members. You can't. Yeah, you can't yeah, have a thousand yeah, people yeah. in your church and all that. I bet you know how much they're contributing. Oh, yeah. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. That. For real, for real. There's oh, a wait, list. The money. And that's where it's wrong, man. That's yeah. where it's wrong, bro. You see, you see, and that's the thing, yeah. For me, I want to talk about that that risk taking mentality of change. So even with Kanye, yeah, <laughs> like just watching that clip, well, it was an old clip, but when I watched it, I just said to myself, for real, like, you know, creative and being who I am as a person. I, in my mind, I've got some really, really, really good ideas, yeah, that I want to world to see. But then I do look at execution and I do think to myself, bro, like, bro can you imagine man doing this and how it's going to be received? And I feel like... Like what? All right, so for example... Don't give out your best ideas. Though. Yeah, yeah. I, I, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure out. I'm trying to think. Oh, for free. <laughs> I, might have to, I might have to censor this part of the video. <laughs> <laughs> you know when you see the mouth moving in that, but it's, it's subtitles. Leave, just... <laughs> leave that one for the Patreon. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, literally. <laughs> like, trust, Patreon. but... No, but just like, just like even like what we've been talking about, you know, like just, just like basic things like having a car wash with, you know. Mm-hmm. you know, Because for me, Ghanaians love community. Mm. Yeah, I, like, I've been there when my, when my aunt's cooked and the next door neighbors come, they've got a plate. This one's come and got a plate. You know, them days there before COVID, I don't know how it is now, but obviously it's that raw. Like, if there's an aspect of community, where's the facilities for that? Mm. So if a man wants to chill on the road and chat all day, mm. cool. Let's build a road shelter for that. So when people are driving through the community, they can get their cars in. And there's not a hundred men playing dice or whatever inside. Of, like, I don't know, like people need to look at aspects of community and house it in a way where it's safe. So, yeah. So are you are you are you talking about those kind of initiatives as a way to enrich community or to try and monetize and and and, 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 and turn something that we like into a way to generate money? I what, think what is it that's... I think both. So I feel like any community we go into is diasporans and try and change up. Mm. That community has to get a tax that goes to the community. So mm. it's not it's not a fact that raw like you know Isaac's got ten plots, Kwame's got ten plots, Adrian's got ten, I've got ten. Mm. Yeah, and we build hotels and we're making bare money. There's a tax system that we've got to pay over a certain amount as well. So if it's, you know, our revenue is 100K, cool. We've got to pay this amount, 10% or whatever. To, I'm assuming, obviously, to the local chiefs. Yeah. But yeah, even with the chiefs. That's another problem as well. That's another, that's another problem as well. But even with the chiefs, we can break it down and say to them where we can give you a percentage, but we're also going to out that 10%. There's a percentage that's going to go to the community. Yeah. So things like having maybe free taxis. Yeah. You know, there's going to be, you know... um, <laughs> uh, uh, um, um, lights that will run from the, the route that most of these kids go to when they go to school. Yes. Mm. So at night time, if they're coming home, they're going to be safe. They're going to be safe. Yeah. Because remember, it gets dark at what? Six o'clock in Ghana? Every year, yeah, all year so round. It's yeah, dead yeah. on the equator. So yeah, yeah, yeah. essentially, lighting is important. Yeah. Like, we, yeah. you know, cool, we can see in the dark or whatever, you know, blah, blah, blah. But at the end of the day, fam, like things, dark, yeah. it's not a safety aspect for a lot of things. And, you know, like when you look at it in the sense of like, raw like, you know, you can go to Osu's lit up, but then your local area ain't lit up. Exactly. But you would spend how much time in Osu? Yeah. Yeah. Do you see where I'm coming from? So yeah. I feel like those small sort of things there. Now, it seems like it makes sense, but then going over to Ghana to implement it and getting it done with the mentality of some of the Ghanaians there, it could be like, right. Or even people over here that may be like, mm, I don't know if that's really going to work. But I'm just observing from when I've gone to other countries and I've seen other things. So, but I feel like things like, like Adrian said, changing that narrative, with these pastors in Ghana. Yes. <laughs> like, oh, we're going to go down there. Right, it's a risk. You're going, you're going to go in there and you're, going to, you're about to disrupt almost 70 years of, of, of a system that's, you know, one's there. You're so going to face resistance. Let's just, just, just make sure you're prepared for it, though. That's yeah. the thing. Yeah, it's, man. Look, because it's, it's I know. It's big business, man. It's big business. And I know the resistance that Probably. I receive is going to be. The pastor in Ghana is a Ferrari, man. You see, you see that? <laughs> How could I have a Bentley? <laughs> yeah? A white Bentley and drive it on a road that I can probably pay, you know, with the tiding and whatever to fix. Yeah. yeah? So I still managed to get the Bentley over the potholes, yeah. <laughs> park it <laughs> in front of the church. <laughs> I was thinking, you said a Ferrari, bro. How Ferrari. do you drive a Ferrari? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. There's, there's crazy cars in Ghana, though. Don't get twisted. No, but I'm just thinking like, you, 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 you see those, those, good, those good speed roads, bumps. Yeah, good speed bumps. Look, yeah that Ferrari, will, that'll be a plate. Good you know what's there by the time? That'll just be... I don't know. be only in... The good areas. Yeah, it can only drive on certain roads. Yeah, you, that, you, in Malum, a Ferrari in Malum. 
Wait, impossible. You'll break down. Impossible. <laughs> impossible. <laughs> so for me, that's the kind of things that I see like challenging because again, the, the strength in terms of community I see a lot is, is definitely in the church, in pastors and religion and whatnot. Mm. Yeah. So essentially what the pastor says goes, yeah? Mm. Now, if man, like Kwame say, man is trying to do this thing because they think it's a come up. <laughs> oh. And it's like, rah, like, boom, yeah, I want to get to this certain amount of money. Because that's how they're moving. It's sad. You, 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 you have to be honest. Look at all of them. You, you find out this one's got wives or second girlfriends over here. They, they're not no different oh. to the rappers. So then, it's no sad, yeah. essentially, yeah. that aspect of changing that mindset of the come up of, of come up of other people's expenses, yeah. Yeah. we're gonna have to tackle that in a sense of raw, like that is a risk, and that's that's what I'm gonna say. When I look at people like Kanye, yeah. and Kanye turned around to you know Louis Vuitton and whatnot, and said, "I'm gonna do my own Yeezy thing, whatever." He's a billionaire now, but now this guy's got. Uh, uh, a factory he's got land in America even a land that he got in America in my head I was thinking yeah, yeah, could a black yeah. man actually buy that yes. amount of land like I'm thinking raw like money talks isn't it yeah. money talks and he did it the best time who he had the biggest capitalist in the world that was president Trump mm. that's why he was welcome into the White House because Trump is a capitalist first yeah. mm. he's, he's a racist money. by nature cool but he's a capitalist but first it makes money it makes sense to him yeah. right so in my head I'm thinking can you imagine a, a, a Donald Trump mentality yeah, in Ghana from a sense of we're going to literally focus solely on those that are literally looking to invest in capital? Yeah. Because I know, like, like you're saying with the land and that, when you're going into certain communities, some of the chiefs are very difficult. Yeah, You know, some of these chiefs is... And you know, like, one of my brothers said, a good point is that, bro, I could be here, I can rant, I can rave, but bro, I don't mind to be taking my name to a pot and doing some next type of voodoo or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's there, fam? Like, some of these kids, bro, like, when you see them and the way they look, I don't even want no smoke. Yeah, he's just So kind of I'll leave that land life. alone. And But I feel like wow, it's crazy. not going to happen overnight. It's no. not going to, it's going to take years in terms of changing that mentality because again, but that's why I feel if we work with the children, mm -hmm. things will happen quicker. So if we work with anyone, even children from the age of four down to 11, yeah. Yeah. in the next 10 years, those kids will be at an age where they can now use their entrepreneurial like, mindset and invent these things. So all these guys that can invent, you know, uh, uh, um, uh, um, syst like systems that work off of urine. What was that girl in Kenya that invented that, um, that car system that worked off urine or waste yeah, or whatever yeah, it was? Like, and, and you know? There's just so much yeah. people inventing stuff that is just mad. In it's, 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 but we can fund it. If we had systems in place where we could say, all right, like, like in America, they had the science project. You have the um, mm, science fairs. Science fairs. You know the ones there, and you know you get a, a Tony Stark equivalent coming in yeah, there to, yeah. you know, Brian, trust the best brain. Yeah, all these rich people out there, like raw, charge them to the game and say, look, bro, like we're gonna have this networking event. These yeah, are see, kids that have got ideas, and but you see, this is the problem as well, though. It's like um, when you there's one like for example in capitalism here, you see philanthropists like for example they'll build a building. They'll have like grants for something. Mm. In in Africa, you don't really see the same thing. Like there were like for example, if you were like a if you're a big person in fashion in Africa, mm. you don't really see like a, a fashion award in, in Africa. There's not really like for example, there's no like really? LBMA. Really? Really? Nah, not really. Nah, not in really. The like, I'm in the fashion game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like if you're example, if that when you have like these big fashion houses and they give a grant or they give an award, mm. more times because there's money behind it. Money, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. somebody's even donated that money for publicity reasons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> but when mm. you when you mm. go to like the big guys in Africa, it's like, oh, well, how does this benefit me directly? Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Everything, <laughs> everything's like. It's like, what's it's the return? My, it's my own self gain, isn't it? Yeah. What's the, the return on this? Like it's it, poverty. Isn't it's it? just like it, you're, but it's not. It's the poverty is like a poverty. It's like a mindset. Like mm, you've got mm. so much money. Yeah. Like do something that shows. Like for example, put money and put build a hospital in it. Build a hospital. In it, that, that that's your legacy. Yeah. You built this hospital. That your legacy. name is there. Like yeah. people, true, nobody yeah. can change that. It's true. You, if you but if you build fifty houses, at some point they're gonna come to ruin. Yeah. Like you could build these, like, so for example, you see these big mansions in Ghana, yeah. and then the person's passed away. The children don't want to live there. It's true, and then if they sell the property, they have to sell the property because the the, the, the person who's there can't even maintain it now. Yeah, it's mm. so big that like you got to you literally the maintenance, as I said before. Yeah, but if you built a hospital and you, you could donate that to, that's a government's issue now. Mm -hmm. It's yeah, built, yeah, yeah, yeah. you maintain it. See, the thing is though, do do people? Uh, I don't know. I, I, you know <laughs> when you speak to people back home who have maybe made it. Do they have a mindset of wanting to leave legacy? Like, is, is that's that, a, that's is that right? Is in their their legacy is their legacy is how many mindset. yards I've got? <coughs> like, how many yards I've got? Are they just about <laughs> what 
what they can get whilst they they're here. Whilst they're or they look, are they thinking about what can I leave that will maybe be remembered? It's, it's, it's like a pirate mentality. Like a pirate mentality. Like you loot still and live off that. Mm. So how... We're, and I know you know what? It's, what you said there is key, legacy. And that's where I'm thinking with Asher over here, because that, you know, back to even like with Kanye, he always spoke about legacy. He always said, you know, he wants to leave this for his kids. All right, cool. He's chasing women and that may have been a bit, you know, different, questionable, but yeah. questionable. <laughs> but at the same time, when I look at Kanye and I'm seeing what he's achieved, I do question myself because I feel, and actually, because my friend was like, oh yeah, but you was also custom. I said, yeah, at one point I was, but I'm now showing you the strength that I have to be accountable of my own actions. Yeah. Re- you're reviewing it and thinking, well, was he really crazy when he said that uh, um, um, black people, um, uh, slavery... Um, was a choice. Was a choice. Nah, that, that one's still mad, bro. I'm sure. They, 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 they don't matter what, what you're going to say <laughs> now. <next year. laughs> that one is still a mad opinion. All right, cool. Uh, land. We got... We got uh, all right, all right. You're, you're, land, you're, 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 you're going into a tailspin, yeah? Just let you know that. There's hella turbulence right now. Uh, Listen, hear what I'm saying, yeah? you got to look at it like this, yeah? We were looking at slavery as the transatlantic slave trade, isn't it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's what we identify as slavery. Cool. Yeah. Right now, that hasn't happened. I mean, that hasn't, it's not continuing anymore. No. It's stopped. Now, why don't we see slavery the same way as in like the kids that are in Congo right now mining coal back for us, for our iPhones? Mm-hmm. Why don't we see slavery as in those guys that work in the Indian factories that produce half the stuff for ASOS, for, you know, mm-hmm. Boohoo, mm-hmm. all those people there? I feel like, when he was ter- talking about the term no, no, slave, he was talking of slavery in the. Now I'm gonna be very, very specific. Oh, well. He was talking about the slave, chattel <laughs> slavery yeah, that the Americans <laughs> was going through for 400 years. Cool. That's what he was talking about. But then essentially, yeah. why have we still? Because because in my head, in my head, the way I'm seeing it is this year. Obviously, you know, I'm, I'm trying to tread Kanye's quote, and I know Kanye's a bit of a. But I'm looking at what he's saying in a bit more of a, a finer comb now. I'm thinking to myself, all right, cool. His delivery and, and his mindset, like I said. May have not been thing, but when he was in a Joe Rogan interview yeah. and he was talking about, you know, how he wanted to do certain things and he's just saying that, yeah, like I'm around people, I'm just alone because people can't share that same like mentality or understanding that I have. So mm. when I'm saying things, mm. it's like I'm coming out crazy. Yeah. So mm. we don't know the conversation that happened before that Team Z clip. Yeah. But we're seeing him reacting. So it's like, for example, we're having this discussion now. Mm. Someone kicks off the door, yeah? And then they start getting mad at take my camera, whatever. We all get angry, whatever, blah, blah. Now, someone in the next door records us getting angry and beating up this guy for taking our camera. Yeah, that goes see. online and it's like, oh, four black men, you know, uh, uh, <laughs> beat up. Context, you. Yeah. It, literally, they, they will identify fun. race, 100%. <laughs> oh, <they always laughs> you know the ones there? They like, you know, do, they always like, probably bring up, you know, private stuff, our records, whatever. They always dig deep. Dig, right. Dig dirt. But essentially, it's if they saw the CCTV of us uh, almost two hours ago in here having a humble podcast, it would be like, oh, raw, right, maybe he didn't. And I feel like where Kanye's mindset, obviously, yeah, is a bit still shaky because, again, you know, you're dealing, you've are dealing. got to look at his social circles. And that's one thing 50 said against, 50 said to Mayweather. He said, yeah, he's got, he's got more money than me. Yeah, yeah, cool, but he ain't got no one yeah. around him that, that loves him or cares yeah, for him. Yeah, but you see, Mayweather's a different problem. But, like, I, just, I, I, no, I, can't, I look at Mayweather, I just look at it, it's, it's just a waste. Right. Well, wait, Mayweather. Yeah. yeah. Just, that's why, for me, yeah, uh-huh. I think we got, I always tell people, you got to always look back in, the, in history and see when things worked. So mm. when we look at ancient times, what worked with us in terms of actually living? Mm. Because now, like, like, like you said, you made, a, you made a very good point um, with Mayweather. It's like, I'm just going to live my best life. Mm. Yeah. But there is really no such thing as a best life. It's subjective <laughs> to how you see it. Mm-hmm. So... But then at the same time, when the emergency situation comes, when life is, or the reality comes, where life is interrupted. So for example, sickness or health or BLM marches, mm. you know, and people <laughs> then turn around and say, oh, well, yeah, like cause Mayweather was one of the people that, yeah, you know, black, 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 black people, what, what do you do for black people? No. Mm-hmm. You, this you know, is why I don't take him seriously. And, not that I'm expecting it, mm-hmm. but it's like, you can't, that's like a, 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 a you're, you know, you're, in, you're, you're a millionaire, but you're lining up with the food. You're lining up into the food bank. Yeah, to try. And they, they serve food quicker than McDonald's. Yeah. But essentially, it's like you've got enough money to go and get food elsewhere or whatnot. Do you see what I'm coming from? You want to jump, jump on the wave. But you're just jumping on the wave because everyone else in the food bank is. Or say, for example, there's no food inside the food bank. Yeah. And everyone's queuing up to go to the food bank. 
yeah? yeah, and they're arguing whatever. And the millionaire jumps in there and says, "Yeah, yeah, we need to get the fee bank back on." And yeah, yeah, like it's like, bro, bro your complaint is <laughs> invalid, bro. It's invalid. You know what's there, bro? It's invalid. So I feel like we need to look at that risk taking factor. But again, it does go back to before I get to the risk factor with Kanye, mm-hmm. it does go back to family. Yeah, and I feel with family, mm-hmm. especially with relationships nowadays. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know the ones there, like it's 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 it's, 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 it's broken. Why is in the family unit? Fa- yeah, hundred percent. Like if you speak to most women now, you know, looking at what they want in life, mm-hmm. not all, because there's some that are still they will give you the norm. <laughs> oh yeah, I want to have a career. I want to have this. I want to have Jesse's that. Jesse's treading on dangerous ground. <laughs> <laughs> you know what the man's got to say? Listen, you know what's got to say? Speak, 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 because because it's, like, it's like it's like raw. Like you got to sit there and think about what you ask most women. Yeah, between age of twenty five and thirty five. Yeah. Yeah. yeah? Oh. What do you want in life? They will yeah. tell you. They will have a list. Yeah. Yeah. They will comprehensive. have comprehensive. Everything. Like, it might even be printed. And laminated Man, into so a movie. Printed and laminated, you know. Yeah. They might even I have the artwork done for it and visualize it. But what are you doing on your day-to-day basis to help make that happen? Same thing with men. True. So a man then will yeah, sit there no, and they'll be like, yeah, like, bro, like, da 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 But then it's like, brother, like, yeah, but you're complaining about your job, but you won't leave your job. Yeah. Oh, what else am I going to do? Brother, you're earning 1200 at Sainsbury's doing part-time. Someone doing Amazon Flex is probably earning the same amount you're earning. And the same car that you're using to drive to go out partying and whatnot, you can use that for deliveries. You know the ones there? Like, there's yeah. different little small things you can do. So much. Now, now, again, I'm not saying that these are all the only ways, but when you look back and you sit there and you can't even have a relationship with somebody, you then got a question legacy and you then got a question foundation. How is it life going to look like in the next 10, 20 years if we're still here? It's mad. And nobody wants to actually really be with you unless they can live their best life <laughs> or get what they want. It's mad. Yeah. It's mad. If you, but then when you say this, you say, oh, you're trying to advocate for struggle love. And it's not what you're trying to say. Well, look at our parents. Let's, let's keep, let's keep, look at our parents' generation, the generation before that. Mm. All of those that went through that struggle love or all of those that went through that, that turmoil. Like the reason why we don't know a lot about their mess is because they went through it mm. and they dealt with it. Although we, I do believe there's an aspect of them sharing that they should do. Mm. But at the same time, it worked because there was a vision and there was a plan. Mm. So and everybody knew their role, right? Right, everybody knew that everyone hey. is key. Everybody knew their role. So you see, you see, you see, great grandma, yeah. You see, grandma comfort or gifty, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she never had no distraction on Instagram or no EastEnders or no Emmerdale to keep her oh. her mind sway from what she's supposed to do. Those you see, I'm coming from. Them, same same thing with 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 you know with with Kofi and 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 Kwabana and that they knew what time it was. They said, "Wow, I've got to go work and come home." Mm. There's no ah, oh, let me go uh, uh, um, check. Uh, the Labrooks or betting shop or I'm not trying to say there weren't certain things that were, that were going on like that there, cool. there was always vices wasn't it but it's like yeah. but there was there was less distraction they, they knew what they had to do do you see what I'm coming from and I think also the, the, the problem is as well is that the um, the 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 consequence of not being able to uh, to meet up to your um, your responsibilities were more dire like, mm. yes mm. you see that there and it feeds back mm. to what we were saying about the whole system being designed that the the um, the, the, the woman that gets her, the, she's a yeah, pri- the yeah, woman's yeah. a more primary carer. Yeah, because when you take away that, like you said, yeah, you're, you're, you, you know, it's an embarrassment if you can't provide. So yeah. you can't hunt for your food. Back then, it was an embarrassment. Mm. If you couldn't turn around and provide for your family, just on the basis of actually just building a house, mm. it was a bar- We have taken accountability and shame to a next level. That's why you'll get a Cardi B and a Megan mm. consistently out. And it, you see the annoying thing with them? And uh, okay, let me. Man. I'm not <laughs> going there. I'm, I'm not. I'm not saying Candace. <laughs> you know, what, uh, I'm not saying. I'm not saying Candace Owens is, you know, the truth. But there's some things that I hear my girl saying. I'm like, yeah, you know no, what? Do you know yeah, what? I'm yeah. with you on that, bro. You know what's there, fam? And she made a good point. She's like, bro, yeah, like point, they, yeah. they're they're lowering the standards. That's true. Uh, that they're out here doing this whap thing, and then on top of that, they're making money off it. Yeah. Oh, that's good. But guess what? When a 17-year-old girl or a 16-year-old girl tries to do what and it goes left for her and she's, you know... Uh, 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 and then also, um, isn't that... That's supposed to part to play on the parents, don't it? Yes, but then yes. also the parents are still allowing access to Cardi. Now, Cardi is there taking money, taking sales, taking the clout from it, but they're not claiming responsibility. Oh, 
I'm not a role model. Don't follow me. Da, 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 da. But if no one follows you on Twitter, you will complain. You so you so be a, be annoyed if no one's following you. Right. Like they want they want the benefits of being a role model, but they don't want to take the responsibility the of being the role model. Right. And that's why for me, I'm looking at a sense of yes, you're right. It does start with parenting, but then who's holding who accountable? And I feel like you can't turn around. Cardi, the Cardi and people can't turn around and then be like, oh, you know, I want to sit down with Joe Biden and figure out a plan with black. And even even with that, when I saw that. I fully I, like it's a joke, man. Cardi B does not represent any of us. Like, but then you got to ask yourself, raw this our gov- these governments, yeah. Mm. What in their <clears throat> right mind felt that made them feel like Cardi B was the right choice of representative for the black community to speak about right. how to? Rep- it is a thing, isn't it? This a US ninety percent are asleep. It is a thing. This is a US issue, isn't it? For me, US is completely different. That's yeah, its own true. world of mess. Yeah, mm. they, 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 their problems are different to ours still. 100%. But at the same time, mm. there's a lot of problems that are also like transferable. And I feel like there's a mindset that the women have there that our women have some to a certain degree as well. So what the oh, man are gonna do? And fully, sorry, what the man are gonna do? Listen, wait, like, listen. I need to find a way to say it like in a way no, bro, say how I you don't want to get cancelled say how you feel bro trust me no I mean like obviously we, you know in, right now what's what's like trending and what's what's kind of being big is, is Kevin Samuels and what he's saying about how women are just moving kind of mad and you know mm. I feel like there's like I listen to him and I hear a lot of what he's saying and I'm, I agree with a lot of what he's saying. There's some things I don't agree with, but the core of his message about women, yeah, understanding what's valuable and what's important to them yeah. mm-hmm. and what they value in, in men, mm-hmm. yeah, a lot of that is is where things are messed up and where we we see ourselves in a situation where women are chasing money or like every we, every woman he speaks to says, "I want a high value man." Yeah, mm. Mm. look at themselves. They're not, they, they're not what high value men are looking for. Mm. What is that informed by? It's informed by the society, or let's say our celebrities that that try and dictate what culture is. Mm. So women are saying, well, the, the celebrities like, yeah, my man gets paid, my man looks after me, he buys me the Birkin, he does this, he does that. Mm. The pressure, the, the, the culture is now set. Mm. And the man them need to get their money up so they can get the back in the show. The yeah, woman let's that they're trying honest, to pursue. Bro, bro, let's be honest, bro. Let's be honest. I think a lot of people, a lot of people, yeah. Mm. And when they come offline in it, they realize that. <laughs> no, no, because uh, there's an online person and then there's offline person. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. When they come offline, yeah, they really, but majority of people, mm. I can ninety five percent of people. I'm not going to be able to afford a Birkin. No, no, of course, of course. I, don't, I, don't, I, I just use the Birkin as an example. <laughs> but, it's, but, it's, but it seems but like certain, such a it's, no, no, no. But what I'm saying is, certain expectations of these females have been set. Yeah, set, yeah. Where men have to have a certain amount of mm. you know, earnings, where they, they they even if they want to entertain you for a date, yeah, they're expecting to go to certain places, mm. they're expecting certain treatment. Mm. Uh, but I, I don't know, man. I, I, I experienced that. It's for me, yeah. I experienced that. I don't know. That's I not my kind of Bro, I'm just saying listen, that. I, 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 listen, listen, let me tell you this for sure. free, yeah? I've experienced that. Yeah. And I've seen that through other people as well. Sure. Although there is decent women that I can say that are around men and I've seen and whatnot. But for me personally, like looking at what's out there now, especially for the younger generation, yeah. like for this year, for example, even like with Kevin Samuels, yeah? Because I watch a lot of his stuff, yeah? And every woman tells you the same thing. I can't stand him. He's this, he's that. Cool. Yeah. Because he delivers it in a very harsh. Oh event. yeah, oh him, him as a person, yeah, as yeah, a person, yeah, yeah. cool. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 he was a person. But what he's saying, yeah. If you look at what he's saying, like he was interviewing one girl, and one girl was like, he's like, oh, how much do you want your your man to make? And she was like, he's got to make six hundred a year. What? What six hundred thousand? So, oh, yeah, 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 what, 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 well, how much yeah, do you yeah, make? Yeah. Let's talk about that. Right, she only makes forty thousand. Or, 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 or say what? Say about. Because he was comparing it to different states. Because he's got the stats. Yeah. See with him, yeah, he he's got the prepared. stats and the facts stats. on every state. Up, so he, he prepared. Is it? Yeah. Is it? yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and you talked <laughs> when I said you said you said you said there's only five percent of men in your state that that earn near enough anything close to a hundred, two hundred, let alone six hundred. Mm. So what kind of man are you trying to get? Now on top of that as well, yeah, why does he need to see what he does? He doesn't tell them at the beginning straight away what the solution is he lets them understand how stupid and dumb their expectation is <laughs> because you gotta ask yourself is you chat to a man if i say isaac rock can you have it all you're like no you can't have it all man no you can't because you accept 
that yeah, essentially that's the reality of life. That's the reality of life. Yeah. Whereas with a girl, like literally, he asked, he asked one woman the same question. He said, "Do you think women have the world?" And she goes, "Yeah, I think they have it." He goes, "Okay, cool. Um, do you, you know if you think women can have it, why don't they have it?" And she was like, "I don't know. I feel like probably they, you know, they do have it." But there's no real reality to what she's saying. <laughs> no. It's still in that cloud of, and I'm not trying to say that brainwashing. You know, like don't get it twisted. I love women, and I love you know my black woman as well. Mm. And I want. I'm saying what I'm saying because I want this to grow. Yeah, you know what's there. Mm. But so they're gonna have to hear some of the harsh talking. They don't want to hear harsh talking. Mm. But yeah. it's all right for men to always hear. For us to always hear from you know from from women about men are trash. Men are trash. Oh, men are trash. Oh, but here's the thing, though. Here's the thing for me. Yeah. Mm. Mm. At the end of the day. Yeah. Still chopping. Sky. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, certain men no, are getting stressed though before they can chop. Yeah, but because here's certain the thing. Here's the headache. Here's the ticket. Yeah, this is all natural selection. If yeah, you need your guy to make six hundred k, and you look at the market of people that are around, and there's maybe one out of hundred. No, it's a ninety five percent. So let's say ninety nine percent of people not making six hundred k. You're looking for a black man as well. Mm. So it's like a fraction of a percent. Oh, you see that? You see what you just that's said? That's a dime there? in a dozen. Fair. Right, that's logic, and that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when when did they when did they find that out? Here's Too late. Yeah, but five. Yeah, but here's the no. ticket. That's, that's not my problem. <laughs> no, 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 it's, not, it's not specifically my problem. No, it's not because there's a lot of women. No, and no there is. Too many. You see what you said there? There's yeah. a lot of women. Now watch this. I like that. He cool. now gets to his selection range because he understands. Right, you know what? I'm not going to get 600k. I might get to 100k. Mm. Where's the black women that are going to accept him? Thank you. So now he gets with a white woman. Nah, and nah, then they're nah, riding on nice. him. Right. That's what right. he's swirling. That's what I'm saying. He's spinning it. Spinning it. Spinning it. But when I say there's a lot of women, I mean there's a lot of black women. But that's, but that's the problem. <laughs> there's, still, there's a lot yeah. of black women in the one big circle running around with these so called. But, but most of them don't, you know. I feel, I, nah. to me, to me personally, yeah. Because my chicks I've talked to about this, yeah. Yeah. But most of them don't. What I think happens, though, is the loudest people. Get to get the, the thing. loudest people get the attention in it, mm. right. and so because of that, it now becomes the loudest people who are the ones now making setting the tone for that. Like, everybody, but like for example, mo- people that are nurses, people that are teachers, yeah. mm. people that work like people work general jobs in it, and most of those type of people are not saying their man needs to earn hundred k. Yeah, I but feel so, like so, so right, out of all those people you know, mm-hmm. how many of those people actually are relationships? I mean, yeah. So when you look at it, what see what Kwame's doing is mm. what most men do. We look at things from a logic perspective because that makes sense. Mm. And what he's saying is one hundred percent true. Mm. The problem is, is that, like you said, you come offline. Yeah. Woman, may, a woman may look in the mirror and be like, mm, "High value man, are you gonna go for me?" All right, cool. Yeah, this weight. All right, cool. Tackle the weight then, because an average man may still see that as a problem, mm. but because you can't say nothing about a woman's weight or you can't tell a woman Ooh. about her dress, and dress size, size or you can't turn around and say, size. but a woman you can come and turn you. to get cancelled. Yeah. You know what's there, bro? But it's true, but though. Just though. Saying it's it's true. Just facts. It's got to work both ways. It's, it's, it's got to work both ways. It's, it's like, both ways, I could hold you accountable, you can hold me accountable. Same right. way. Yeah. And I feel like what's happening now with Kevin Samuels is now you're hearing a man. I need to check this guy. No, honestly, check it out. No, but trust it. Trust me, like, brother, like, my man's, like and I, and I and I and I and I hold him high because I feel like a lot of our dads didn't do that. Yeah, yeah. like you know, what, all I heard was at my old workplace was, "Ah, oh, you know, happy wife, happy life." I'm thinking, why don't? Why is it the focus mainly on the woman? Because again, like you said, society standards have come in online mm. and made it this reality of. So a man can't tell a woman what to eat, how to dress, you know, how to walk, how to do certain things, but a doctor can tell you, mm. and it's more susceptible to hear it from the doctor. What, because he's qualified? All right, cool. So you're going to wait for how many years, knowing that you've got health problems, you smoke, you drink, or you've got bad habits. Mm. I'm not saying you can't smoke and drink, but I'm just saying when it's over excessively done mm. and it's affecting the kids, it's affecting your performance at work. Yeah. You're going to wait till you get to 51 and doctor's like, hey, you got cancer. Mm. When, 20 years before that, your father, your husband, everyone's been saying to you, look, like, you got to fix up. Yeah, yeah. Now, with whereas with men, we won't even get that far, bro. We'll get kicked no. out the yard. <laughs> yeah. No one's having it. Bro. No one's having it. What do you mean you can't pay rent? Huh? What do you mean you lost your job? No, no, no. You need to go online and get enough. Uh, cool. And I get it. But essentially, that's, is, this kind of mentality 
it's just what's destroying us from actually having families where we can go and produce and build certain things in Ghana yeah. and build certain places the overseas. The family is the bedrock of every society. 100%. Yeah, 100%. And this is the thing. Mm. If, if you crumble, if you weaken the family, then you've weakened a civilization. Right? Mm. If we can get the family, right? Mm. By all means, all the other things that are built on, on top of that family unit, hopefully can be done right as well. Mm. But when there's this disconnect between the man and the woman, they're not working in union. There's there's there's, there's unreasonable expectations. That's when you have situations where man will be. Mm. Ima- you could even say man are driven to do certain things that are un- unethical. That that to be honest with you, yeah. right? But here's the thing: that motivation. A lot of the motivational factors for guys to do things is to get chicks. Exactly. <laughs> right. But then those no, chicks, those chicks that they're trying to get here, yeah, yeah. are, are are chicks who have expectations that are maybe wild. Right. But they're having yeah, to yeah. now do wild things to meet those wild expectations, right. and yeah, therefore, as a society, right. also, we're, we're not we're not progressing because men are not doing things that are beneficial to society, but they're doing things that are beneficial to them women. achieving yeah. the, the, the getting the chick yeah, that they want. Hold on, hold on, hold on. One thing, one thing. As a man, yeah, you need to be comfortable in who you are. Yeah, but bro, not every man has got like that confidence. Yeah, but you see this. You need to go get it. This, this, this right here is something that is installed from you. It's something that you need to. It's something you have to work on. No, I personally, it's a wake up call because again, like we talk, we're talking about legacy, yeah. Yes. Now, if you look at every family, even with a royal family, yeah, yeah, there's a structure where everybody everybody plays their role. Everybody understands raw. This is what they got to do. Yeah. Everybody knows that. Okay, cool. Me as a person, as a mother, you know, <coughs> this is what I have to do. So essentially, you ask most of these women and most of these men, what is your role? Mm. They will tell you what their role is. A woman will tell you. She will be like, yeah, I'm supposed to provide and whatnot. All right, some of my girls might flip it. Well, I'm not going to be no housewife. So they will always start off with, yeah, I'm supposed to provide and had, but I'm not going to be this. I'm not going to be that. So essentially, why are you not doing it? Mm. You've got to be high value yourself. Right. And and that's what Kevin, Kevin Samuel's not saying that everyone has to be high value in terms of earning money and whatnot. He's saying that, why don't, why can't you accept the baker? Yeah. He always says it. Or the plumber. Why, why, why yeah. is man, that, this man will love you. Yeah. Farmers make money, you know. These, they make money. They make money. Don't be. <laughs> but these women, are, they, like, I don't want to generalize, innit? it? It's because they want the image. They, they're more. They're, more they're very concerned about the image. You right. Know? Very concerned. Women. And then, and the other races <laughs> you know? are looking and thinking, all these handsome black men are not getting attained by their. What's get, listen? Look, it's a oh. thing, you know. <sighs> it's it's a serious look, thing. What are you trying to say? No, no, I'm telling you, brother. When you look at when you don't know about that one. When you look at looking from a perspective of this year. I'm not trying to say that every situation like that is like that. Yes, yeah. there's some black men that get with white women to escape thinking they're going to... They're going to elevate them to a high level. Yeah. There are some white women that get with black men because they've been kicked out of their community and they're, they're not really of a standard. But when you're looking at a 19-year-old kid of today, yeah, mm-hmm. and you're looking at his options, if he's in a classroom and he's seeing the black girls doing the whap, even the white girls are doing the whap, other races are doing the whap, but then essentially... His only motivation is to build and whatnot. Yeah, let's just say, for example, mm-hmm. in in the Western environment, mm. at this age, how much, how many options does he have when it comes to black women? It's very, very rare. You have to really have to look at this perspective and say to yourself, all right, cool. Let's find out what, like, like go into your nephew's Instagram and see what photos he's liking yeah. of women. By all means, it's going to be non-black women. More often than not. And, and that's not only to say it's all black women's fault, but this there is a there is a negative stereotype that goes behind it. But we're talking about us holding accountability. Yeah. So it's harsher when you're holding yourself accountable. Mm. And yeah, not but, the white so that, but then but also that that account that accountability, yes, I understand. Mm. You've got the wife, you've got the rest of the at the same time, you need to look internally as well. Look at your surrounding environment. You got aunties that are not on those type of things. You got moms that are not on those things. You got grandmas that are on those type of things. True. Right. If you now are only going to look at what's the popular media at the time, and then use that as how you're going to establish. And also, 19 big men, you need to relax. <laughs> yeah, no, that's one thing, bro, because you're not a man yet. Yeah, no, right. It's but, true. But you see that. Yeah. See what you're saying. Boils down to parenting. Yeah. So the aunties are not on that, and so and so's not on that. This is why I always tell certain people, and I see certain situations, and I'm like, all right, I'm looking at a Kanye, and I'm thinking, cool. All right, you got with Kim Kardashian. Cool. You got with Amber Rose before that. Cool. Like, brother. Like, this but then you're making is a bit, it's a bit, he, he up, it's a bit mad, yeah, but then you, 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 you sit to yourself and say, what black woman will put up with Kanye? That's a true, that's a that's question, a you know. 
I've, that's well, a question because he, he, he might go for someone different if he does marry again or date again because of maybe because he's he's, he's, he's slightly he's different now. He's he's, he's, he's different. No, but, but that's because he's established now. But right. on his come up here, he was very erratic and he yeah, went through erratic. a lot of phases. Right. Yeah, 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 of yeah, yeah. So let's madness. keep it real. I'm not attacking black women, but I'm just keeping it 100. What black woman would tolerate Kanye? Okay, I church mean, there's not normally... Bruv, that's actually a good point. Here's the thing, yeah. When it comes to these things, but what black man should, att- should tolerate Kim Kardashian? Mm. That's true. And that's what I'm trying to explain to you. But then two lost souls will find each other. So essentially, if there's no direction with a Kanye... Mm. Yeah. As we see with his mum dying and, you know, mm. he's not having real... It, no, but it goes even, like, mm. like... I don't know what his situation was with his dad, but where did his male influence come from? 